Round 7 of the 2015 FIM World Speedway Championship came to Horsens for the first time and the Casa Arena Football Stadium. Beautiful sunshine greeted the riders and a packed crowd as well. Hardly any space available uh, in the crowd. A magnificent turnout and a great venue and a beautiful part of the world as well. The Kjorgaard Danish FIM Speedway Grand Prix didn't disappoint on track. It was fast and furious, there was plenty of entertainment. Peter Killerman, one of the home heroes, of course, delighting the Danish crowd. Mickey Pedersen opened up with a race win as well and looked comfortable. And Chris Holder, the 2012 world champion, started well and was looking very impressive early on with seven points from his opening three rides. But Nicky Pedersen hit trouble with this incident. Had to get off the bike, hit the air fence, and Pedersen knew that he was in for a pretty tough night at that particular stage. Peter Kellerman hit the deck. He was disqualified on that occasion, something that he wasn't particularly too happy about. Nasty damage to his hand. Still went on and had a great night. Pedersen knew that he needed a good ride late on to try and get into the semi-finals. He got a third place in his fourth ride, still needed a couple of points. Holder working hard, Michael Jefferson Jensen with his youthful enthusiasm in front of the home crowd, and then this crash. It was a dreadful incident. Pedersen in there with Zagar as well, and then Michael Mikkelsen angered Andreas Jonsson. That was typical of the way the meeting went. Chris Holder bowed out with a nasty-looking crash. Sienowski and Matty Zagar getting stuck in. Then Peter Kellerman through to the semi-final and making it count as he went through to the final. Drama early on as Wolfenden dived up the inside and was excluded. And in the restart, Kellerman from tapes to checkered flag made no mistake for his first ever Grand Prix win. From Ty Wolfenden leads the World Championship with five rounds to go by 13 points.